Hey, welcome back. You know, experts say it really is time to start getting rid of ornamental pear trees. They're also known as Bradford pears. You probably have some in your neighborhood. They're commonly used for landscaping and they are in full bloom right now. Very easy to spot with their beautiful white flowers, but there is a problem here. Cliff Chapman, president of Central Indiana Land Trust is here to explain how the trees hurt the native plant population. And that's the rub there. They're so pretty to look at. They look nice. If your neighborhood is lined with them like mine is but there's a problem underground with these trees right you know it's not just the native plants it's the native birds it's the native insects because the thing about invasive plants like these calorie or brack repairs is uh, no insects feed on them they're mm -hmm. kind of insect resistant and so that means the native birds and um, other there's no food for uh, the native insect populations <laughs> and so the birds that um, if you see the birds right now, this time of year, spring, um, they're on the trees, they're chasing spiders, they're chasing insects, there's nothing for them to eat. Uh, can you explain a bit more about what they do then to the plants, to the soil, uh, to the yard that it's probably planted in? Yeah. Like my own yard, you know, when we moved in, one, uh, two of these were planted. We really didn't have any say in that. It's yeah. just what they put in the yard. Yeah, well, the thing that happened originally, um, they were not invasive trees at all, but um, they, they branches cracked really easily. You'd get a high wind like we have in Indiana Springs and branches cracked really easily. So um, nursery people went back and they crossbred them again with the original pear trees that were from like China. And when they did that, they did start producing small little pear fruits. Mm. And when they did that, um, now they produce like hundreds, if not like thousands of these little pears. And those do get eaten mainly, mainly by European starlings. Mm -hmm. And those spread. And when they spread, if, especially this time of year, you might start seeing those white uh, flowered pear trees in open fields, along roadsides, and they just take over and they're smothering out uh, native plants. Uh, I was going to say, what's the risk? When they become invasive, then what kind of problems do you have? Well, they're, they're kind of just take over. They smother out our native species. And again, when they do that, um, that's taking over habitat. And our native um, animals, our native insects, they provide no food, no resources. And mm -hmm. so just think about all the squirrels you might be seeing, all the birds you might be seeing, and all the native insects. It really just kind of disrupts the entire food chain and it's a it's a big problem and so our native wildlife goes in decline if you have one or more of these on your property and you know what what's the best course of action what what's the best thing for someone to do unfortunately it would be to take it down and then replace it it not necessarily with it doesn't have to be a native tree, but at least something like even a Japanese maple. There's nothing wrong with using an ornamental tree as long as um, it's not invasive. There's very few invasive species that we have to worry about. Mm. This is, just happens to be one that got really popular in the trade, and, and now it's spreading just kind of everywhere. I know there's an effort right now also underway to put this on, uh, I guess, sort of a, a do not sell uh, mm -hmm. list trying yeah. to get them banned from being sold in Indiana. Yeah, there was a successful effort that took over 20 years. They got a law passed or regulation passed a few years ago and this was one of three species that didn't make the list, that was invasive, that didn't make the list. And mm -hmm. so we are hoping that this will get banned. And it was just that the nursery trade had so many of them in stock uh, that they didn't want it to be on that list. And so we are hoping that it will never be sold again. How can people learn more about this and uh, get some, some good uh, advice from, from you all? You know, uh, the Indiana Native Plant Society has really good information on their website. And then um, there's a lot of great alternatives, like American plums are absolutely, that's what I have in my backyard that mm -hmm. I replaced. We had, when we bought our house, we had a pear tree yeah. in our backyard. We got rid of it. I planted an American plum. It is more beautiful. It smells fantastic. Um, it's in the rose family. It's just absolutely beautiful. If you like flowers, it looks sort of like that. Yeah. It looks just like it's it. got them. All the, the the smell is just absolutely fantastic. Hit up fox59.com. We're going to link uh, your website and the other websites that you need there to make it easy for you so you can learn more about maybe taking some action here uh, to help preserve uh, the, the native species. Thanks for coming in this morning. Uh, it's really a timely topic because, Jim, really they are in full bloom out there right now. You can see them lining the neighborhood streets. Uh, interesting. Did not know that. Thank you, guys. Uh, we're at uh, 9.